Last thing we're going to talk about in a little P6 here, rational expressions, is complex fractions. So uh, we're in a little bit of, we're putting everything together, and you'll kind of see as we get into these. Uh, a couple little steps here we need to follow. For starters, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get one term on the top and one term on the bottom. A complex fraction is basically a fraction within a fraction. So kind of keep that in mind as we're looking at these. So first thing we do, get one term on the top, one on the bottom. If you have more than one, you need to add them together. Uh, and then the second thing we need to do, instead of trying to divide, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. Let's look at an example. We have 1 plus 1 over x over 1 minus 1 over x. So as you can see, uh, this is a complex fraction because we have a fraction within a fraction. So uh, yeah, a complex fraction. Here we go. Our job, get one term on the top and one term on the bottom. As you can see right now, we have two terms in our numerator. So we need to add those together. To do that, we're going to use our uh, adding and subtracting rational expressions. Uh, 1 is really 1 over 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to get a common denominator. Our common denominator, nu and nu. So 1 times x is x. That's going to be our common denominator. So I'm going to come over here and multiply this by x and this by x to get our common denominator. So this is going to make this x over x plus 1 over x. So we're going to add our numerators together now that we have a common denominator. This one, the denominator is also 1, so we have two terms here. We're going to put those together. Uh, to find our common denominator, nu and nu, so our common denominator is going to be x. I need to multiply this by x and this by x. So again, just like up here, this is going to be x over x minus 1 over x. At this point in time, your denominator stays just the same, and you're going to add or subtract your numerators. So now we've accomplished our first goal. We got one term on the top and one term on the bottom. What we're going to do next is instead of trying to divide, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. The numerator will stay the same. x plus 1 over x. And now we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Just like when we did when we were trying to divide, it just looks a little different. Instead of being this divided by something, you have them written stacked. Uh, what we always need to do is try to factor and cancel stuff. Uh, there isn't anything we can factor. Two monomials, two linear binomials, no common factor. But there is a common factor of x right there. So our answer, x plus 1 over x minus 1. All right.